Hey guys, this is Tina. Welcome to Oven Maker's Journey. Today my video is going to be on prepping your pantry for an emergency situation. And I'm going to show you what my family and I have stocked in our pantry so that we have enough food on hand if something were to arise, say if I had gotten sick and my husband needed to cook or if there was a job loss or an emergency due to a natural disaster like earthquake or if you're where you're from maybe there's hurricanes or tornadoes and you just can't get to the store and you want to make sure that you have things on hand to care for your family say if the electricity went out for a few days or you just couldn't get out for a few days so let's get started all right now we have some medications that i think everyone should have we have acetaminophen which is tylenol Airborne to help with your immune system. Tums if you have a stomach issues. D3 and K2 I think are really great. Essence vitamin C basically these are vitamin C packages to help keep the flu away and colds. Your vitamins these are children's vitamins but of course we recommend them for adults to make sure you have your adult vitamins as well. Children's Tylenol we have a nine-year-old so it's very important that we have something on hand for him in case he gets sick in the middle of the night we want to always make sure as well as cold medicines um, and Sudafed things like that allergy medicines Benadryl those are all you know really essentials that we um, recommend you have so now let's okay guys so here are some of those basic necessities that when COVID hit the stores ran out of so quickly paper plates paper towels, toilet paper, baby wipes, napkins, tissue, any paper products. So I would recommend you stock up on these, even utensils, plastic utensils, have those in your, uh, in your pantry, as well as those cleaning products that left really quickly, Lysol spray, Lysol wipes, your um, multi-purpose cleaner, your Clorox for your toilets and your bathrooms, your, your dish detergent, dishwashing liquid as well as laundry detergent and then another thing of course is your toiletries you know making sure you have deodorant your allergy medication vapor rub for your kids toothpaste body wash shampoo lotions and then another thing is candles something to light your home with if you run out of power in the evening making sure you have the lighters, your, your candles, your even your battery operated candles, batteries, your cell phone chargers, and if you have those that are um, that you don't have to have electricity to power them, those they have the charge in stored inside of the charger. Those are all great things to make sure that you have on hand. Okay, guys. So now let's move on to drinks. So we have. Things to put in your bottled water. Make sure you have plenty of bottled water. They recommend uh, one to three gallons of water for per, per person per day um, when you have no water or supplies on hand. So we've got those. You can. There's lots of different types of like crystal light and things like that that you can add to your water. Also recommend having um, if you're a coffee drinker, having instant coffee. This is my favorite instant coffee. If you have a Keurig, because if there's not no electric problems, you know, you have your coffee pods for your Keurig or cocoa for your kids. My kids like cocoa in the winter time, so it's nice to have these stocked up, as well as if you're, you know, drink green tea or say if you're having a throat issue and you have throat coat, something to soothe your throat. And if you're on a liquid diet, or you're you know trying to lose weight but you're using something like this have that on hand as well as special treats when you know you're getting tired of the water and you just want to have something a little different you can have drinks like this as well as Ovaltine I think this is a great one because it's full of different types of vitamins and minerals now let's move on to our um, sweeteners so we've got Truvia this is sugar in the raw, raw honey, monk fruit, as well as, you know, you can have your sugar, um, stevia, whatever it is that your family prefers. Make sure that you have those on hand and, and stocked up for your, um, your pantry so that you don't go without. 
Now let's move on to spices. This is another really important thing when we are um, having our pantry stocked up. We want to have flavor. We want to add flavor to our food. So, you know, making sure that you have the spices and um, seasonings and sauces that your family likes when you're cooking. You know, chili powder, soy sauce, seasoned salt, you know, your herbs like basil, Italian seasoning, cumin, if you're having Mexican, smoked paprika, whatever it is, you have to look in your pantry and make sure that you have enough um, on hand so that you can season your food, your food well. All right, so now I'm going to move on to baking. So I definitely recommend that you get a good supply of flour and uh, all-purpose flour. Bread flour is a great one that I use often. And you have, you know, you make sure you have your baking soda, your yeast, baking powder, um, butter. You can also store ghee when you're baking. If you're making cookies, have uh, chocolate chips on hand and and. Uh, so that way you can make your kids chocolate chips if they're you know you're having bad weather outside or you have little special treats and of course again salt and pepper when you're baking you're going to definitely need salt in the back here I have white sugar and I have brown sugar you know those are all things that you're you'll need when you're baking and so to have these things stored up in in your pantry to um, just to be a blessing to your families and then here's some other supplies. You know, you always want to have peanut butter and jelly. That's such a quick and easy thing when your power goes out to have on hand as well as like tuna fish and um, tuna fish and Vienna sausages. Here we go right here. Um, chicken breast. I have dried beef here when in the winter time, it's nice to have um, cream chip beef or you can make dip with cream cheese and scallions and a little bit of sour cream or mayonnaise. You mix that together, chop this up real fine, add an onion, and it is a great dip for chips or for um, crackers or what have you. And your Vienna sausages, they sell these in large quantities, you know, by like cases of like 12 or 18, as well as your chicken breast and your tuna. These are all essentials that I would definitely get on hand and stock in your stockpile for your family. And as well as ketchup, your relish, your mustard, get a couple of those. Um, having them available to you as well as mayonnaise is another one. Red salmon is another great one. Also, Bragg's apple cider vinegar, especially when you're sick, having a little bit of this or lemon juice and water. Those are great to help you. Let's see what else. Oh, and on this side, we have oils. So whatever kind of oils that you use. I have a variety that I use. So I've got Crisco. These are for ghee, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, extra virgin oil, um, olive oil, and then just a light olive oil here, and as well as vegetable oil. And freeze bread, I would recommend that too. Making sure that you're freezing bread, freezing hot dog buns or rolls, if you guys like those types of things. Having those in your, in your refrigerator or your freezer and pulling them out when you want to make a burger or, or chicken or something like that, it's nice to have. Here is my pasta pantry. So I have a cabinet beside my um, dishwasher and it has in it egg noodles. I have all types of noodles in here. There's lasagna noodles, spaghetti, uh, angel hair. I have brown rice in here. Brown rice. There's fried rice, gumbo mix, thin spaghetti, rice aroni, ziti. I have more brown rice, long green rice. And what I do recommend if you guys buy your pouches of rice, um, put them in the freezer for about three days. And that way you don't have to deal with any bugs later on because of these are storage items. And that will kill anything that might be in, in there that, um, because these are grains. So there could be any, there could be lots of different things in there. So that will kill off anything that might, that might be in there. And then store them in your pantry. Find little spots to um, place items. They don't, everything doesn't have to be in the same spot. 
to be stored. You can go under the bed, you can go in closets, um, your kids' rooms, shelving, and different parts of your kitchen or your house. Um, yeah, so just look all over the place for those little nooks and crannies that you have where you can put your, uh, your things. So before we get to my pantry, let me show you some storage items that I have here. This is a five gallon food grade bucket. Here's an airtight um, container. You can put cereals and rices and noodles in here. In mine, I, I have some of these and I store my all-purpose flour, my um, red flour, parboiled rice, large bags, sugar, things like that that I'm not gonna, that I don't have to worry about going to the grocery store over the winter, or like I said, when, in the case of an emergency. Here are other containers that I, that I put things in. I put smaller amounts of rice and bread, flour, and things like that that I use a little bit more often in these smaller containers so that I can carry them to the kitchen easier than having to carry a giant bucket. And this is a gamma lid. This lid fits on top of this and you press it down, but the lid comes off so you can get in and out of it when you need to, if you're needing to fill up your, your other bucket, you know, you can do that. And see this lid, it comes right off. So you can buy these lids at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, I got this lid yesterday because I knew I was gonna be doing this video for you guys at Lowe's, but they didn't have any of the food grade buckets. So I had to go to Home Depot for that. So you know, sometimes you might have to go to two different places, but if they have the gamma lids, those are like gold. They go out real fast and then find yourself the five gallon buckets or the containers to store other types of food in. Another item that um, I like to have on hand is ramen soup. You know, a lot of you remind, remember ramen soup just because of college, those are your cheap meals. Well, they're also great for a quick meal when um, someone's sick in the house or like I said, there's just an issue that, that you just don't have a lot of time or you don't have a lot of electricity or power. Maybe if you're having to use a generator um, if you have a generator or you have a window of time when your power has come on, you can even cook these on your, if you have a wood burning stove that's, um, uh, that you can put a pot on, you can even do things like that on here. Or of course in the microwave or on top of your stove if you have no problems with electricity. All right, let's get to my pantry. Okay, so I am getting ready to show you my pantry, but I wanted to show you this too. This is just a shoe bag that goes over top of your door. You can buy these at Walmart or Target for just a few dollars. And they have a lot of my dry goods too. So I've got, you know, soup mixes. I've got potatoes, potato flakes. These are, you know, like usually a couple of dollars at the store and they'll feed your family, you know, a good meal. And they have everything in them. There's cheddar broccoli soup. I have down here, there's also like shake and bake mix for my chicken. And then I have dried onions. Um, I have snacks for my kids. I have pancake mix uh, in here. My young son, he just loves these mac and cheese. So let me go into the pantry now. So on the bottom back down here, um, as you can see, there's oatmeal. Those are dried beans stored in here. I've got a can of um, pineapple slices. I'm actually, I have a dehydrator, so I will be dehydrating those so that way they're shelf stable. It's just a sweet treat to have um, on hand. I have oatmeal, I have Splenda, more napkins, more tea, more coffee. Back here, there's Rice Krispie cereal. The kids like Pop-Tarts and Z-Bars. There's Rice Krispie treats right here. Now let's go into, these are the five gallon food grade buckets. So like I said, I got them from Costco, uh, I mean not Costco, Lowe's or Home Depot. And they have my flours and my rice and sugar, things that I bake with, um, I have stored up in here. Remember to get paper plates and even plastic ware. There's chips, bags of chips. Um, crackers and things like that chips up here so let me show you my shelf and what I have over here so 
So you can see that my smaller containers are right here. These are flowers that I can take, rice that I can take to the kitchen. And back in the back, I have more um, little containers of like cornstarch, baking powder, um, baking soda for when I bake. I bake, do bake a lot. And here we've got pasta sauces, green beans, um, corn, peas. And this is all different types of sauces, spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, green sauce, chili um, peppers. Pa um, there's um, picante sauce, which is just salsa. And then here I've got different types of vegetables. I have cream based soups to make things with vegetable soups. I definitely would recommend getting different types of soups on hand for when you know, if you run out of power, you can eat these things just as they are back in the back. I also have water chestnuts, <clears throat> different types of soups back here. Definitely have soups on hand um, for emergency purposes. And then here's just little pods of um, cheese sauce to go. They're just little special treats for my kids. And then on this next shelf, it's all about the beans. So I have baked beans, black beans, chili beans kidney beans, um, cheese sauces. There is uh, refried beans. I also make, when I'm having pasta, I mean, excuse me, um, pizza. I like to have pizza sauce. I like this sauce, but I, you can make your own easily. Also, shelf stable milk. These are great to have on hand when you're having, um, when you're going through stuff or you're sick or what have you, and, and you don't have milk in the house, you can reach for these. This is um, Gosner Foods. This is 2% milk. You can buy these actually at the Dollar Tree, you guys. It's a dollar for these and have them on hand when you need them. Or if you're making something, you can use these rather than your milk in your kitchen. In your refrigerator, always have on hand chicken stock and beef stock. All right, let's go to the next level. And I told you that I dehydrate vegetables. So here's dried peas, green beans. I have carrots. Also, I have raisins and fruit cups for my kids. It's different kinds of chocolate sauces, almonds. And I also store my nuts and seeds in my freezer. It helps to keep them longer. And uh, fruit, having fruit on hand is always a good thing. So you have a special sweet treat. Uh, when you can't cook. Up here I have more oatmeal. And this is um, potato flakes. Stuffing. Taco shells. I have granola that I made. Easy to make. More potato flakes. Here's granola bars. Grits. And baking mixes. These are always good to have. So that you can make, you can make, you can make um, different types of casseroles with that. You can make bread. You can make pancakes with this. Also have Aunt Jemima pancake mix, and you always make sure you have some type of syrup on hand. Let me show you the top shelf now. So up here I've got this is kind of my like little s'mores um, section. So we've got graham crackers up here. There is puddings and chocolate bars, marshmallows, marshmallow fluff. And this is what I keep my coffee pots in for my curing. All right, so, so that's where I'm gonna end today, you guys. I think I've given you a lot to think about. And just add to your pantry little by little so that you can have things stored up for, say for the winter, for three months at least. And what you do with your, your items on your shelf, when you buy new items, check the date and put those newer items on the back part of your shelf bringing your older items to the front so that way you're in a rotation and everything gets used you're not you're not eating things that you don't enjoy don't purchase things you don't enjoy um, because they all go to waste and you'll end up throwing them away once they expire so just buy things that you you and your family love keep it simple and make sure you get plenty of water um, oils um, cooking oils, meats, vegetables, dry goods, like I said, your pastas and your rice or your potato flakes right here. 
your pancake mixes that is like a bonus right there to have because you can also make them savory you can use them for as a bread if you don't have bread in your house but you have pancake mix you know you can add different types of um, seasonings to them or herbs to them and use them like bread to make a sandwich it's amazing what you can do here is someone else we need to remember to are our pets that you have plenty of food for them and when you're thinking of your water supply make sure you have enough water for them as well so as you guys can see i think that it's really important for us to prepare for our families in case of an emergency and i hope that this video was helpful to you and that you will leave comments uh, below and share like follow subscribe and uh, let other people know about this video and if it inspired you or if there's things that I may have left off of my list that you have on yours please please feel free to share I know anyone that's watching this will love to have that extra information here's a few bonus things that we also have and uh, we have a generator and we have like I said a food dehydrator and I also have a vacuum seal bag uh, sealer for bags so when we have meat, I didn't mention what, what's in my freezer, but when we have food in our freezer that we want to keep for a long time, like meat or vegetables, uh, I vacuum seal those items and place those in the freezer so they'll last longer. And uh, the food dehydrator is just great for you to, your food to extend even longer than just a few months. And I know those are, those are more costly, so just start with the basics. Make sure that you have food for your family in case there's an emergency. And those paper supplies and um, cleaning supplies, toiletries, toilet paper, um, your coffee, those things that your family likes, even candies and chips and things like that, that are comfort foods for your family. Make sure that you have those types of things. But you don't have to do it all at once. Look for sales in your um, flyers that come in the mail or that are in the um, your, that come through the email through your cell phone, and get those deals. Look for those deals. And there's some great opportunities out there, uh, like for containers and like I showed you with the five gallon buckets. You can store so much in those, like your beans and your your grains, and you can even put just the bag, the whole bags of pastas and rices and things like that one thing that I didn't mention when I store my flour I put um, bay leaves in the flour in the c containers with the flour and that keeps any bugs away and so if you're purchasing bags of flour put them in your uh, freezer just like I showed you with your rice even your pastas um, you can put those in the freezer they kill off any bugs that that might try to come because of the, the containers that they're in or if they're grains that are like flour and um, rice they will um, if you leave them long enough bugs will come after them so when you put them in the freezer it helps to kill anything that might already be there so that they nothing can happen to those things and the laurel the bay leaves which is bay laurel um, just helps that as well to keep the bugs away so you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this like I said and bless your family and bless your time as you prepare your pantry. Take care.